We talked a lot yesterday about Afghanistan and the terrible situation unfolding there with the Taliban taking control of the country. There are reports of beheadings, girls taken as sex slaves and the slaughtering of police in some parts of the country, even while the Taliban spokespeople tell the world that they're going to be more moderate than they have been in the past, a, a gentler, kinder version of the extremist theocrats they are. Give me a break. If you want to know what the Taliban promise, just look at the people desperately trying to leave the country. These people know the Taliban. They know what they've done in recent years and in recent weeks. And they will risk their lives. They will do anything to get out of Kabul, get out of Afghanistan and go anywhere else. Our Prime Minister today revealed details of Australia's rescue mission to get some lucky people out of Kabul. Last evening, Australia's operation um, to commence evacuating Australians and visa holders, Afghan nationals and others from Kabul commenced. The operation involves everything from establishing that contact with those who are in Afghanistan, uh, particularly uh, closer to Kabul, uh, to ensure that they can be in a position to be at the airport in order to be evacuated on the flights as, as they uh, come into Kabul. Now, the first flight has already brought out 26 people to the United Arab Emirates, but there's going to be many more flights in coming days. Now, I can tell you from personal experience in Afghanistan that just about everybody who speaks English there will be claiming to the Australians and others that they've helped coalition forces and thereby deserve to be rescued. Why wouldn't they? So it's going to be very difficult for Australian officials to work out who they should take and who might be left behind. Just a diabolical dilemma for them and everyone else. Let's hope we do get to rescue all those who truly do deserve Australia's help.